up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a newsletter subscription form into your WordPress website for free and without coding into a very simple, fast, effective and fully customizable method. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our choose internet on a site's favor. So let's get this started. First thing, go to your WordPress dashboard and review the left sidebar of menus. Hover a mouse over plugins, okay? And click on add new plugin. Submenu. Into the upper right corner of our screen, next to the keyword, you're gonna be able to see a field called search plugins. We're gonna click and search for Firebox, just like this. Now Pop-up builder, on-page load, pop-up exit, pop-up login, pop-up on-click, sticky bar, and add block, firebox. Click on install now. And click on activate button. Plugin gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. Here is the firebox. And if you review the left sidebar of menus on the WordPress dashboard once again, Scroll down just a little bit and next to settings you're gonna be able to find a new menu called Firebox. You can hover a mouse over it and click on Overview. Right here you can see your pop-ups performance, the conversions, the views, okay? A graphic. Scroll down, review this middle sidebar. And there is uh, next to the plugin version, into this middle sidebar, an option for dark mode. I prefer things on dark mode, so we're gonna enable that. Now we're gonna click into the campaign, okay? New campaign. Now we can start with a blank template, so we can design the pop-up in the way that we want. But for me, I prefer to start with red layout. And how about this one? Newsletter subscription form. Subscribe to our newsletter. Now review the upper right corner of my screen and there is a button, insert template, click on it. And here is our template. Of course we can customize the text in the case that we want, we can customize the content in the case that we want, we can change the placeholder, the button, all of this can be customized. For example, imagine that I would like to change the color of this button. Click on the button and review the right sidebar of menus that gonna appear. Right here you have icons, colors. For example, you can change the background color for a head one, maybe. Just like this. Just like this. We can do the same with the text in the case that I want. Colors. Right here we have text color. And we can customize this. We can change typography. Borders. Every single part of this ad can be changed. Just like the email, we can change the field label, for example, instead of enter your email address, you can type subscribe now, just enter with your email ID, something like this. We can apply a help test and we can make this field required or not. I recommend that you make this field required, okay? If you scroll down after changing the pop up in the way that I want, we're gonna be able to see some options, starting with the design option. Right here we can change the pop up size, H, the campaign, font size in desktop, tablet, on mobile, padding into the three platforms, margin, text color, background color, align, right here we are top left, okay, shadow, we can show the closing button inside as an icon, change the colors, make the closing button to be an image that you can upload from our media library. 
we can apply some delay for the closing, we can have some animations in CSS, some borders styles and different borders styles for every single platform, desktop, tablet or mobile, we can apply some overlay, we can close on click and have some background image in the case that we want or not. Now, if you review the middle sidebar now, we can have the behavior into this tab. First thing, general, position. We can change the position. For example, let me publish this and show you in the live website. As you can see, the position is left bottom. But how about that? Maybe middle center. Let me update into the upper right corner of my screen and let's review the results. And here we go. Here is what you see when you subscribe. As you can see right here, we can change the position, okay? Now the trigger point to make the pop-up appears, page ready, page load, click, hover. We have the display conditions, we can display this on all page, on, on all website pages, mirror campaign or set conditions. Display when all of those conditions are met. For example, we can make the options display only on some page, what page? The page is, for example, home page. When the page is home page, the pop-up gonna be displayed. If the page isn't home page, you won't display the pop-up, okay? Simple as it is. Or you can make it appear in all your site page. But a pop-up in all your site pages can be a quite annoying, based in my personal experience, okay? Now we have actions. Nothing much for here. Uh, right here. We're gonna keep all for free. And in custom code, into the advanced we have custom code. Custom JavaScript, CSS, we have to apply text mode, RTL, prevent page scrolling, we can enable statistics, we can apply some class and changing the Z index. After doing all your changes, upper right corner of a screen, update, and you are good to go with your pop up, okay? But where do the emails subscribe right here go for? Review once again the WordPress dashboard left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over Firebox, and right here we're gonna be able to see a field called subscriptions. Click on it. And here is the subscriptions made on the form, okay? All the emails right here. You can export this, for example, to a table and export this to MailChimp or to some mailing system, okay? This is up to you. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Visual Moto Borderless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor Gutenberg or Enzu WordPress team, the best WordPress team that can start to customize our site and the way that you want. Or growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts all for free. In addition, with our sites.gallery, a place that is a CSS gallery where you can promote your site, your app, your landing page, or game design. And finally, in the case that you want to go premium while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and unlock full access to our entire templates library, with hundreds of pre-built type sites that you can import with a single click. In addition, for premium blocks, assets, tools, templates, plugins, and many, many more features to create the site of our dreams. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.